Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starfield console mod video for Xbox, where I'm going over 10 more mods you need to check out for Starfield. Again, I want to say a big thanks to all the new subscribers of the channel in the last few days for these mod videos. I really appreciate the support. And we're going to jump straight into it with a mod that you can see in the video called Infinite Boost Pack. If your boost pack is not quite getting you as high or as far as you'd like, is there a platform or building you'd like to summit or a city you'd like to view from above, then this is the mod for you. With infinite boost pack, you can boost all day long with any boost pack and you'll never have to wait for the meter to refill. Next, another Atlantis mod called Mercury Tower Furnished. This mod simply furnishes the Mercury Tower apartment you are rewarded after the UC Vanguard quest. And I have to admit, I'm really impressed with how it looks and I would not be able to do a better job of decorating. The dining area, the TV looks cool, the kitchen and bathroom are just normal, not too overdone. I really like the bedrooms and all the plants inside of them, and even the two balconies are decorated with seating lights, and so I really like this apartment overhaul for New Atlantis. ATST enemies. The game is lacking giant and dangerous enemies, and this mod aims to fix that by adding ATST walkers from Star Wars. In fact, there are a huge amount of Star Wars mods for Starfield already, and I'm trying not to add too many to every video. But this is part of a series of mods to overhaul Starfield into a Star Wars game. However, they do try to add some tweaks to make it more lore friendly. So, walkers have been added to the following locations Deserted Ecliptic Garrison. Mars Mech Factory, which is the one I'm showcasing in the video, Abandoned Weapon Station, New Homestead, which is a friendly one, Freestar Mech Factory, Londinian, which is also a friendly one, and the Forgotten Mech Graveyard. In future updates, this will be added to add more locations as well. What can the ATST do? Well, the walkers are basically upscaled modeled robots with modified skeletons, its arms with three types of weapon that will use all at once. Front has laser cannons, the side mount has rocket launchers, and the other side mount has grenade launchers that fires a barrage of frag grenades. The walker is a tough boss and is not designed to fight at lower levels. Kawaii glasses and Starfield eyewear. The first mod adds four pairs of cute cyberpunk-esque glasses in cyan, pink, yellow, and red. All can be crafted at the industrial workbench and it's just something you can use to make your character more interesting. Starfield eyewear adds even more eyewear to the game. You can buy them from James and Rosa Newell in neon. They come in four different colors, but they come in lots of different styles. And again, it's just to make more options for your character in game. Next, we have mod called Crimson X. Adds a variety of Crimson Fleet themed items to the game, including clothing, weapons, jackets, glasses, masks, belts, gloves, and gear. The mod comes with four outfits, four sleeve techs, two headphones, two swords, two visors, one glove, eight different jacket styles, three belts, two masks, and two belt items, which are bag and canister. You can get these from Taran Callis on the key. You can loot them off of dead bodies of Crimson Fleet NPCs, and you can craft them at the industrial workbench if you prefer to do that. You can mix and match all the different pieces of item, you can equip them on your player or you can equip them on your followers, and I think they look really good in game. Crimson Fleet Pirate Charger Helmet. This mod is a simple retexture mod for the Crimson Fleet Charger Space Helmet, but it's a really cool looking one and definitely worth using if you're playing as a space pirate. Star Wars Melee Weapon Replacer replaces all vanilla melee weapons with a melee weapon from other Star Wars games. So here is a list of what weapons are replaced. The Biro Knife has become the Viber Blade. Combat Knife is just a different version of a Combat Knife. Osmian Dagger is the Mandalorian Viber Knife. Rescue Axe has changed to a Viber Axe. The Rip Shank has changed to a Dagger. Tanto is now a Beskad. The UC Naval Cutlass is a Stun Baton. The Varun Pain Blade is now the Night Brother Knife, and the Wakazashi is a Dark Saber.
Better dynamic weather. This mod speeds up and adjusts the vanilla weather cycles to make the game feel more alive. The weather will cycle more often than usual, as the base weather cycles can be very underwhelming. It doesn't change or add any weathers to the game, and hopefully we do get a mod that will add that in the future, but this one simply alters the vanilla game's weather cycle. Edited billboards and poster advertisements have been changed pretty much on all the planets. All images are lore friendly and follow the original design as much as possible. Every town and city will have a lot more posters and billboard variety and will be a lot more interesting to look at as you explore each city. Our final mod is a new companion called Robin Locke. Captain Robin Locke has crossed the United Colonies naval brass one too many times. Now this ace colony war pilot finds herself grounded with nothing to do but gaze into the bottom of a whiskey glass. That changes when she meets the star fader in a dive bar. Together a disgraced military pilot and fledgling constellation recruit form a fragile partnership to explore Starfield. While the star faders hope for a better future influences the cynical war veteran or will her morally flexible attitude pull another potential filled pilot into cynicism and booze. With over 1200 lines of fully voiced professional dialogue, Robin is a dynamic companion who will share her likes, dislikes and ultimately influence your journey as you influence hers. Robin can be found running her sorrows in Jake's bar in the well. So Robin's war experience have made her a pragmatist, often favouring a means to an end approach prefers to play exploring a morally grey playthrough. Her sharp wit and sarcasm provide a refreshing contrast to the idealistic world of New Atlantis, where you can share a journey, a drink, with a somewhat cynical pilot. Her responses are shaped by your character's history, whether you're religious or which side of the battle lines you were born on, Robin's relationship with you evolves, adding depth to your interactions. As a veteran of the colony war, she follows command seamlessly, direct her to scout or hold position or target specific enemies, whether it's to control the battlefield or set up the perfect photo op. Travel with Robin to uncover her past from the colony wars to her early life, her experience provides a new perspective on the Starfield universe, influencing your own choices. And it's good to have a new companion in game since all the default companions are not very good. But guys, there we have it, 10 more awesome mods for you to check out in Starfield on Xbox One. And as always, all these mods are available to download on PC. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.